why do I ask for so much information when people ask me to uh, do some consulting for them? There are uh, a lot of reasons that a consultant, an SEO consultant, should ask you for information. Uh, but the most important reason is that you don't want to ask advice uh, from someone who has no real idea of what your website is trying to do or what your business is about. And if you have analytics history, you, there are ways that you can make that analytics data available to that person so that they can look at the history. It's best to give them a two-year view. Uh, you also should be fully honest with the, this person about what kind of link acquisition that you have uh, attempted, when you attempted it, and uh, what kinds of services you've, you've attempted. A, a good consultant will uh, treat your information with confidentiality. You can ask them to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Uh, some consultants have their own non-disclosure agreements, I do, and uh, if you're not uh, comfortable with that, then you can write your own non-disclosure agreement and ask the consultant to to sign it. Even if it's only for an hour, I'll be more than happy to sign a non-disclosure agreement with you uh, so that uh, you can feel comfortable disclosing your business private information to me. Um, in the, uh, the most uncomfortable situations, yes, I will answer questions and, and offer opinions without knowing much about your website. I don't think that that kind of uh, feedback is going to provide you with much value unless you're just looking for training. Uh, if you're looking for uh, some tips on how to go about uh, doing something in terms of uh, advanced search engine optimization, then you probably don't need to disclose any information about your website to a consultant uh, who can give you some insight into how things are done. Um, on the other hand, that consultant probably isn't going to do a very good job of shaping information towards your specific needs. You will probably spend a lot of time explaining things in a roundabout way so as not to disclose to the consultant uh, what it is that you're trying to do. Many people are comfortable enough to show me their websites and that's great. I can look at a website. I can form some opinions pretty quickly. I, I have a quick uh, checklist I run down of things I look for under the hood, so to speak. Uh, where I, I look at the source code of several pages, I look at uh, how your links, your internal links are, are structured, I look to see what kind of widgets you're running, and um, I will, I'll ask some questions based on what I see. But I'm going to miss a lot in that kind of a quick review. So um, when I do ask you for historical information or, or some other kinds of data, I understand that I'm not trying to be uh, a high and mighty arrogant SEO consultant or something like that. I'm trying to give you the best possible value that I can and I believe that other consultants who ask for this kind of information do the same thing. I'd, uh, I'd like to close with a, an anecdote. Um, I was uh, uh, trained in sales by someone who had 20 years uh, experience in the insurance industry and he told me that one of the most uh, difficult challenges that an insurance agent or broker faces when uh, facing a new prospect, talking to a new prospect, uh, particularly in selling uh, business insurance, liability insurance, was that uh, the business owners have the mistaken belief that uh, insurance is a commodity and that each agent can adjust the price uh, however they want and therefore all they have to do is shop around and get the best price that they possibly can uh, from the agent. Insurance doesn't work that way. Insurance is based on what the underwriter thinks your risks are and the agent has to give the underwriter as much information about how you manage and mitigate risks as possible. That includes financial information, that includes business practice information, that includes a history of claims and things like that. Some of this information is already going to be on file in, in insurance databases and companies that think that they're holding something back from insurance company, uh, brokers uh, may not realize that uh, they're really not holding something back. But generally speaking, if uh, an insurance uh, underwriter doesn't know that much about your business, uh, he's going to assume a higher risk and therefore your insurance premium that the, that the agent or broker can quote to you is going to be higher. So think about that uh, for an SEO consultant. The value that he can give you increases as he knows more about your business and more about your website. Uh, a good consultant uh, will know a little bit of something about a lot of different businesses, but he's not going to know anything about every business. Nobody can. There are too many different lines of business out there. What we know is how search engines work with websites and how websites work with search engines. And there are, you know, this, there are two sides to that equation. We also know how people manage their websites and how people mismanage their websites. The more that an SEO consultant knows about your website and your business practices before you sit down to talk, the better.
So that's just something to consider. You don't have to do uh, business with a consultant that way. And I've had a few people walk away from me uh, who didn't want to give me that kind of information. That's fine. Uh, go out and find a consultant that you're comfortable with. But just understand that uh, uh, an informed uh, piece of advice is, in my opinion, much better than an uninformed piece of advice.